lobsters. I tried to save your friend last time. Go back in the water. Be smart. Good morning, everyone. It's been a little bit. We've got an update, actually. Oh, look at the little seagull in the back. <laughs> He's just circling. I'm here with Coco, our beloved coconut crab. It's been a little bit since I filmed that last video. I filmed that quite in advance because I took a long time to edit it. I wanted to really... Girl. All of you. Girl, get back in the water. Go, go, don't mind them. Don't mind them. It's okay. Go. You know what? I don't even care. Come this way. Come this way. I filmed that last video or my first video on the series, I guess, um, quite a while ago. I wanted to give myself enough time to edit because I, I put a lot of time into that. <laughs> It's been a little while since I've edited and I wanted to really play around with things and see how I wanted to go about this whole series slash videos. Honestly, I'll keep making videos if you guys want to watch them. That's that's how I work. And I'm so sorry. I forgot that I left this poor tree like that. Ignore that. Ignore that. I'm actually going to grab my bed and I think we should. Do I need anything in here to be honest? Uh, probably get rid of you. Oh, I should put my summer hat on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's another Coco. Not the Coco though. We need to find a spot to start building our zoo slash house slash anything. We have a lot. We have a lot to do in this episode. At least get started on. Because it is modded, I don't feel bad whatsoever. Just teasing peeing truthfully <laughs> i'm kind of curious what's over here oh no coco uh oh okay so i guess you're just gonna chill here then that was a little bit scary do i have to i can't just capture you this would make things a lot easier can you go in yeah the doesn't seem like it's working now, does it? All right, well, first of all, we have some housekeeping before I get too excited. Thank you so much for all the the, the love on the first video for this, this series. Like I said, I'll continue to keep making videos with this mod pack if that's something you guys want to see. I'm having a lot of fun. It's kind of fun to just play Minecraft in a different way. I also got a ton of really good advice from your guys' comments. Thank you so, so much much for that first of all really appreciate it one comment thank you i believe it's boy thank you for letting me know that we can name coco without an anvil kind of really slay <laughs> if you ask me i'm sorry i'm sorry we can actually just name him right now all you have to do is shift and right click look at that and we have coco i think oh are all of the names coco we only need one there's only one coco Coco! Oh, I think I used two. Oh, this took forever last time. Okay, we're good. We are good. Thank you. This is Coco. So thank you for letting me know that that was a possibility. That saves me a lot of iron. And I don't really want to go back in the mines because I am too scared to go mining by myself. Something else that's really exciting, the creator of this mod pack saw the video. So hey, if you happen to be watching this one, thank you so much for watching. They were super sweet. They DM'd me and they were like, hey, thanks so much for checking out the mod pack. I appreciate it. And I was like, of course, it's so, so cool. I love it. <laughs> we need more cozy, cute animal packs, to be honest. I think that's, that's a must. They also said, if I read it correctly, that these pictures I think this is what they meant uh, these pictures you collect them once you put your animals in the enclosure so it's kind of like a, a trust system I've also updated the pack they were like you should probably update the pack a lot of stuff has been changed so I went ahead and updated it so it is nice and new I almost lost this world actually when I was about to play on it I updated the pack and then deleted the old one not realizing that the save file was <laughs> in it so I went on today about about to film and there was nothing and I got a little scared and luckily my recycling bin was not empty and the old world file was still in there so I'm not gonna do that again but we we had a close call Coco was almost no mo I'm done I'm done okay enough chatting we're gonna start walking because apparently I can't just TP without Coco I need to take Coco for a walk so we will be on our way and head I think we'll go this way come on 
on. Go, go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. I know I'm taking you away, but you, you'll love your new home. It'll be a little questionable at the start, but we'll, we'll get you the good upgrades. Oh, <gasps> another one. We're gonna have to get another one for you to be happy, aren't you? You're not gonna want to be alone, huh? Another comment I got on the last video was uh, that they really enjoyed my editing style and that it kind of felt like a fairy tale. So thank you. First of all, I love that. And I kind of love the idea of like creating my own little world and little story within this world. I think that's super cute and keeping things nice and whimsical I think is really fun. Like look at this little area. This is so whimsical and so cute. As I walk Coco through the forest on the little leash, I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I think it's kind of whimsical, kind of cute. I wonder, is there a way to turn off waypoints? Okay, there we go. That's a little bit nicer on the eyes. We'll still have it on the map so I know where we're going, but it's a little bit nicer, I think. Yeah, I'm just super appreciative of everyone who did watch and likes it so far. <gasps> Pillbug! Little guy! We can't, we can't take you. Ooh, do you sound like a spider or is there a spider around here? If so, I'm not a fan. Thank you everyone who watched. I really do appreciate everyone who is excited. I'm hoping ideally that I can... We'll see how well I can do this. I want to try and get weekly episodes out if possible. It really depends how quick I am at editing and I do love to take my time, but we might not do as much per episode. I wanted my first... <gasps> Ooh, pretty fish. I think those are koi. We already got koi. Unless they're goldfish, but I wanted my first episode to get through the first part of the quest. There are more quests. I think these are koi. And so it took quite a while to film and edit, so we'll keep it shorter, I'm thinking, for these episodes. At least on my end. Do I have any food, actually? I'm like, yes. Okay. No starving, no starving. Oh! Let's not lose you today, Coco. That's not what we want to be doing. Is that a shark? One moment. Coco, you're not allowed to be shark food. Come on. Coco. Coco. Coco, please. Come on. No. He's not friendly. Imagine the shark just eats Coco. Not allowed. Coco, I don't think there's a brain cell in that little smooth head of yours. Just a smooth brain little guy. Oh, look at this. That is honestly so pretty. And there's some kind of crop or flower over there. You're not even looking. Go, go. This way. Yes, this way. Up. Come on. You were doing so good. You have to go around. Go around. Oh, uh, look. Look how pretty it is. Isn't it so cute? Right? Some fishies. I think we've already logged those fishies as well. Also, I really appreciate that we know this is water. Thank you, Minecraft. All right, we're gonna swim across. Do not get lost. You're a crab. You should be able to swim. You got this. Oh, go this way. There we go. Oh, is that a ladybug? Oh, she's so precious. Oh, well, she's gone now. What are you? Beans. Oh, <gasps> turtle! Look at the baby and his little waddle. <laughs> my heart, my heart. I'm gonna steal some beans. I might need these for something. I don't know what, but we weren't supposed to go that way. Detour, detour. Not with you at least, Coco. Good boy. What is this? A mulberry. <laughs> I sounded so disinterested. It's a, it's a mulberry. I just didn't see any others, so I'm like, oh, we only have one. It's gonna take up a lot of room. What are you? Are you the turtle? So worth it. They are so cute. Oh, and their little tails wag. They're so cute. Can I catch you? Or actually... <gasps> Wait, you guys look different. Listen, the main goal is getting Coco somewhere safe. Coco doesn't have any brain cells to be living on his own. Did I hear lava? Why do I hear lava? Is that a lobster? Hello! I'm kind of scared they're gonna attack me. I don't know which ones are passive. <gasps> Blue lobsters! Are they different? No, they just lobster. I just realized Coco's kind of like huge compared to the lobsters. Like, really huge. Okay, we need to go around. <gasps> coconuts! Coconuts for Coco. Coconuts for Coco. Oh, you want to go to sleep? 
together. There we go. Oh, Coco, your butt is in my face. This is such a slow journey on my end, Coco. You need to be a little bit quicker. I did go the wrong way, like that was my fault, but you are kind of slow. Look at the butterfly. Oh, beautiful. Coco. <laughs> Is Coco looking at the butterflies? No, he's just stuck behind a rock. Come on, this way. Come on, buddy. You'll be okay. There you go. Sweet Coco. You got it, buddy. You're doing amazing. Oh, good job. I feel like a proud mom throwing their newborn into the pool as they struggle to swim to the surface. All right, this one's a little bit of a bigger stretch. You got this, bud. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Honestly, he's basically my dog at this point. <laughs> really? Can you not? Just one block. Come on. Give me a little push. Come on. You were doing so good. What's over there? <gasps> little birdies. Oh, did you come up? Hold on. I want to see the birds. Hi, birdie. Sparrows. I love hearing the little bird chirps in Minecraft. I feel like it just like makes everything feel so much more alive. Come on, girl, you got this. I thought you would have liked going on a walk. Do I need like slabs for you to climb up? Come on, you're capable, you're just lazy. Come here. Don't, no, come here. This wasn't supposed to be this difficult. This was supposed to be actually quite easy. We've got like a nice little area here, which I'm thinking could be really good for our zoo, especially like, look, over here, we could have some kind of bridge at some point. Coco over here. We also have this area here. I don't know. I feel like this is a really nice little island that we could start building off of. Like, why not? Maybe I'll live somewhere over here and then we can like walk into the zoo. Who knows? Who knows? Don't fall down that hole. You will not be getting out of it if you do. He thought about it. He definitely thought about it. What is that? Oh, it's just another butterfly. Is that a village? Is this space occupied? We may need to go and say hello. Raccoon? Oh! <gasps> Hi, baby. You sweet little garbage man, you. I just realized I'm gonna have so many animals in the zoo. I'm gonna need help naming all of them. I will definitely make sure to ask all of you to help me name them because uh, there are gonna be a lot. What are those? Hold up. I thought that was a giant bug. I am not gonna lie. Are these sea lions? Coco, look at the big sea dogs. Look at them. Should we go say hi to them? Hello. What are you? <gasps> Another crab. Why do you guys sound so scary? Oh, you guys are just seals. You guys are still cute though. Oh, they're so cute. And we got a crab. What do you think, Coco? Where are they going? Are they going back in the water? Oh. Wait, are they attacking him? If you touch... Coco, you are in so much trouble. You're okay. That one over there? The audacity. The absolute audacity. I kind of like this little beach area a little bit more. Yes, we're taking over, but it'll, it'll be cute. <laughs> I feel like this is a good spot for Coco. I guess that means we need to make this official, huh? With a waypoint, there is a village. Oh, we're going to check that out, actually. I'm very curious. Oh, look, it connects. Wait, that's really cool. It like connects through the beach. We don't even need a bridge, at least not yet. That is so cool. Wow. Oh yeah, we're gonna make a waypoint for you. There we go, Coco's new home. I don't wanna leave you alone. Those other crabs were kind of bullies, so I need to make you a little enclosure for now. <laughs> Something just to keep you, what is over there? Oh, a seagull, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Something to just keep you from wandering off but it's for your own good. There we go, this is a little hectic. Actually, I'm gonna move this because something could get in there. That would be very bad. We're taking no chances. Ah, not the coconuts. Coco, this is perfect for you. It's raining coconuts and this is this is where you're gonna live. I don't trust that guy over there. He gives me he gives me really weird vibes. Okay, I do wanna sleep. I'm not gonna chance it. <gasps> Coco, there's another one. I cannot make this up. I'm gonna turn off the map actually so you guys can see a little bit better. <gasps> Coco, there's another one. What are you 
doing up there? How did you get up there, actually? Where'd you guys all come from? There's so many. Are you guys falling out of the tree? Is that why you're called coconut crabs? Do I need to do more research? Well, I don't want to get you mixed up. I guess you've got like a lot of friends here then, huh? This is where you are meant to be. Oh, that was supposed to connect, but that's totally fine. Ooh, I do like that. I can see what's in my chest. Wow. All right, well, Coco. Coco, look at me. I'll come around to you. I'm gonna go look at the village and see what's over there and if we can make some friends. But I think this is the start of where you're gonna live. I know. I'm excited too. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. If you want to watch the entire series, I'll have a playlist of it all here. Or you can watch the last episode right here. I'll see you next week where we go to the village. I'm so excited. Bye everyone.